constitutional law matters because it sets uh, the framework of how our society works. It governs the relationships between uh, the people who make the laws, the people who uh, look after the laws uh, and the people who are making things happen. So it's fundamental to how we operate. Just like a constitution, which of course in the United Kingdom, we don't have a, a single document which enshrines it all. We, we, we have accumulated it uh, over you know, literally a thousand years because we had not seen in those a thousand years uh, such a dramatic failure of the nation state that it required us to start with a blank sheet and say, and this is who we are, and these are the rules by which we govern ourselves. But we have incrementally moved towards more of a codification of segments of it while still allowing uh, flexibility. But ultimately to me, the rules by which a people decide to govern themselves defines them. Uh, your constitutional arrangements say something very fundamental about your society. So it matters in terms of definition. It matters in terms of crisis, because I think that wise rules almost don't matter all that much when things go well. Rules matter enormously when things don't go well, uh, when you have massive power battles going on, then the rules of engagement are really significant. And while speaking in 2022, this may still be a bit early and a bit raw in many people's uh, experience. But I think on reflection, people will look back on the period of 2016 and 19, i.e. the referendum on our continued membership of the European Union and the rather unexpected result to leave and the election of the Boris Johnson government in 2019 as a period which in, if it happened 16th, 17th century equivalent, it would have been a form of a civil war. And what was remarkable to me in those three years was how a resilient the institutions were and how adaptable they were and how by 2019, Sovereignty was well established in the hands of the voters again, albeit came about in a messier way than any of us would have anticipated. So the rules matter because in times of turmoil, they are your guiding lights as to what you're bound by and what direction you travel. The constitution and constitutional law is where you look to to find those rules. And in ordinary times, those things can seem terribly dull, um, but they matter because in the end, as I say, they go to this question about how we are governed uh, and who governs us and, and how those people are held to account, uh, whether it's by parliament or by the courts. So all of those things interlock and they really matter because ultimately they affect quality of our laws, they affect uh, the um, ability of individuals to enforce those laws against the state, so you're talking there, for example, about judicial review and the role of the courts in enforcing the law. All of these things really matter because in the absence of rules about these things, you're in the Wild West uh, uh, and nobody can have certainty about um, how, how decisions are made or how they're enforced. Um, and nobody wants that. We live in a democracy that is subject to the rule of law. These are grand perhaps somewhat theoretical concepts, but they really matter. And at a time when the world is focusing on what's happening in Ukraine, for example, um, they may not be thinking about the, the, some of the details we've been talking about, the precise statutory role of the civil service, but they certainly will be thinking about um, who makes laws for them, who enforces those laws, um, how, what access to individual citizens have to the courts and to public services and what they can do if those things are under threat. And ultimately constitutions are about guaranteeing those things and about enabling citizens to um, have competence in them and to enforce them. Um, so that's why the constitution matters and why you need rules around those things, um, why 
constitutional law matters. 